Welcome to Pipes Around the House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut thin insulation board like this without making any mess. Now typically, when cutting thick insulation board, like most people, I'd use an old blunt handsaw. The problem with this is that it does tend to make a lot of mess. But when cutting thinner insulation board, anything up to about 30mm, I got a much better method and it's virtually mess free. Now the first tip is when you're measuring the board, put the metal end or the overhang of your tape at the end you wish to cut. And I'll show you why now. So I want a piece here 36 centimetres wide, so I'm going to go to 36 on the edge of the board, like that, and then you can just use the end of the tape, push it into the board, like that, and we've now marked a hole in the board so we don't actually need a pencil or a knife. Now in this example I need exactly the same width at the other end, so I've measured to 36 there and I'm just going to mark the board again using the end of the tape, like that. So now we're going to need a straight edge of some sort, I'm just using a spirit level and the secret trick is to use a very sharp knife. So line up your marks like that, take a sharp knife and just score it gently first of all, making sure you get the right line. I'm now going to go back through that line at the full depth of the blade and I find this easier to do freehand, just take it easy. So now, very much like cutting plasterboard, let's turn this over. Apply some pressure to one side of the board and just tap and that will now break just like that. Now we just need to cut along the fold. And there you have two cut pieces of plasterboard and as you can see from the floor I've got one, two small pieces of insulation board there so you can see that's lovely and clean. If you found this video useful then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell.